construct site-built walls faster and easier than traditional methods with the code-listed StrongWall Site-Built Portal Frame System from Simpson StrongTie. Its comprehensive hardware kits allow for quick, cost-effective installation of single and double portal frame assemblies. The double portal frame kit includes the hold-down assemblies, moment connection straps, SDW truss ply screws, and a six-lobe T40 driver bit. Standoff bases are included to accommodate either nominal 10-inch columns or 12-inch columns, depending on your design. Installation instructions and anchor templates are also included. The single portal frame kit includes half the components of the double kit, plus an additional moment connection strap and an ABW44Z post base with SD9112 connector screws. Here are the tools needed to install the PFS. Installation also requires 5 8 inch diameter threaded rod anchors for the hold down assemblies, which can be installed with either SET 3G or ATXP adhesive. For single portal frame assemblies, 1 half inch diameter threaded rod or other anchorage is required for the ABW44Z post base. Installation of the PFS begins with setting the anchorage. First, mark the anchor locations using the provided template. Drill holes to the depth specified on the building plan using a hammer drill with a masonry bit. Remove dust from the holes using compressed air for four seconds. Clean with a nylon brush for a minimum of four cycles. Then clean with compressed air again. To apply adhesive, place the nozzle at the bottom of the hole. Withdraw the nozzle slowly to prevent air pockets. Fill the hole one-half to two-thirds full. Insert a clean, oil-free anchor, turning slowly until the anchor is at the specified depth. Remove excess adhesive around the anchor. Do not disturb the anchor until it is fully cured. Note that the anchor should protrude above the concrete one inch to one and three-eighths inches. Next, install the hold downs. Place the stirrup and bearing plate assembly on the anchor bolts. Install nuts onto each threaded rod. Finger tighten, then add one third of a turn with a wrench. Finally, add the standoff base. If installing a single portal frame, follow installation instructions for the anchorage on the column side. Then install the ABW44Z post base on the post side. Now that your bases are secured, frame assembly can begin. Note that column and beam assemblies can be specified with different material combinations. Solid sawn, a combination of solid sawn and LVL, or LVL only. For this demonstration, LVL framing will be used. First, mark and cut column and beam members to length. Each column and beam will be comprised of one long member and one short member. On a flat surface, align column members so that the sides and one end are flush. Fasten per spacing requirements. Then fabricate a second identical built-up column. Next, align beam members so that the sides are flush. Offset the ends by the width of the column members. Fasten per spacing requirements. On a flat surface, overlap the beam and column assemblies and square the columns to the beam. Connect per spacing requirements using the SDW screws provided. Attach moment connection straps with the appropriate fastener. The straps will span the joints between the columns and beam one quarter inch in from the edges on each corner. Flip and repeat strap installation on the other side. Straps will install in the alternate direction. Then stand the frame and place columns in the hold downs. Temporary shoring may be necessary to hold the assembly prior to connection to framing. Attach hold downs using the SDW screws provided. For a single portal frame installation, substitute one of the column assemblies with a 4x4 post. As before, on a flat surface, cut members to size, fasten beam and column, 
and install straps on the beam to column connection. Then install the remaining connection strap across the beam and post joint, centered on the post. This strap may be installed on either the front or back of the frame. Stand the beam and column assembly and place into the hole down and post base. Secure with temporary shoring and attach using the provided screws. Build portal frames on the job site faster than ever with the code listed PFS portal frame system from Simpson Strong Tie. For more information or technical support, visit strongtie.com/pfs.